Welcome back everyone to Learning with Teaching, we're in aesthetics and today we're going to solve two problems which are 9.9 .9 and 9.10. It says locate the centroid x of the shaded area for my problem 9.9 .9, and locate the centroid y of the shaded area of my problem 9.10. Okay, so over here we have this figure. Now in the figure we have this y equation that is doing this parabolic um, shape and then we need to find what's the centroid of this total area when x is from goes from 0 all the way to 4 okay so let's just start with the first problem which is problem 9.9 .9. okay so in here in this problem they're asking us what's the centroid in the x direction okay so the x location I'm sorry not the x direction so in order to find this x location what we need to do is that we're going to apply an integral from an arbitrary for our arbitrary summation and the location x multiplied by the differential of my area. And then at the bottom in the denominator, we're going to have the integral of the differential of the area. Now, in order to solve these problems, we need to find first what's this arbitrary location equal to and what's this differential a. So let's start by assuming that our differential area looks something like this. So it should be a really small rectangle, right? And then our center or our centroid for this differential area, since we know what's, what's going to be the center of a square, in this case our differential area, it's exactly right in the middle of the x direction and right in the middle of the y direction. So that should be it, that should be the centroid of this, only this specific area, okay? Like this specific change in area. So I could have another one here and its center should be somewhere along this line. Now. We can say for that for this differential area, so let me change the erasers to big. So from my zero mark all the way to here, this is my value of x. But this is not our centroid for our chip. The centroid will be half of that. So the centroid of our arbitrary point, so our x with the swiggly line on top, is this one which is half of our x so our first piece that we just found is that our arbitrary x location is equal to one half of my value of x for this differential area okay now the last part that we need to find is what is this differential area equal to now if we were to redraw let's redraw our differential area over here on our left that what we'll find out is that over here we have the change in the y direction and then in here we as we said before this is equal to my value of x so the area of this rectangle what should it be well it should be x multiplied by dy okay so we have that this is x times dy after finding this, we realize that, okay, this one is in terms of x, this one is in terms of x, but I also have a dy in here. Since I have a dy in here, and I don't know what this is, what we can do is that we can change these x values into y values. How are we going to change them? Well, we have the equation of our line, where y is equal to one-fourth of x squared. So, knowing that, we're going to take come back here and be like okay so y is equal to one four of x squared and we need to solve for x so we're going to solve for x and we're going to have four y and then we're going to have it raised to the one half or basically just the square root of four y we can simplify this also as two y to the one half okay which i prefer um to have it written like this it looks more neat in, in my preference so now we know what x is equal to 2y to the raised to the one half so what we're going to do is that we're going to plug this in here 
the two cancel out and we will find out that my arbitrary x is equal to y raised to the one half and my differential area is going to be equal to 2y raised to the one half multiplied by dy. Since now all my terms in, are in one single variable, y, y, and y, what we can do is just go ahead and find my centroid location, my x location, centroid x location. So we're going to plug in on our integral, which is going to be, well, first we have arbitrary x, which is going to be y to the one half, multiplied by the differential area, which is 2y to the one half times dy, okay, all divided by the integral of the differential area, so 2y to the one half dy. Now, the boundaries are for our differential in the y direction, therefore, the y goes all the way from 0 all the way to 4, okay? So we're going to have that on our boundaries, we'll have from 0 to 4 and from 0 to 4. Now, the next thing that we can do is that we can plug this integral into our calculator. So what are we having here? So we're going to do the integral from 0 to 4 of y to the 1 half times 2 y to the 1 half times dy and our numerator will be equal to 16 and then our second integral which is the integral from 0 to 4 of 2 y to the 1 half dy will give us an equal of 10.67 okay now if we do this fraction we'll find out that my x location is 1.5 meters and we just solve problem 9.9, .9, okay? So the next thing that we are going to do is that we're going to solve problem 9.10. Problem so for my problem 9.10, they're asking us what is the center location in the y direction. And we're going to do a similar process where we're going to have that the centroid in the y location is going to be the integral of my arbitrary y point times the differential area divided by my differential area. So what we need to find is this arbitrary y location because we already know what the, the differential area is, the a is. So let's go back to my main figure in here and find out. Okay, so the value of y for this differential area, so for our square in here, is this one. It, from here, all the way from the zero line. So this is my value of y. But wait a second, this is also the value for my arbitrary point that is in the centroid of this area, of this um, differential area, right? So since they are the same, we're going to say that our arbitrary centroid will be equal to my value of y. Now that we know this, and we also know from the previous problem that my differential area is equal to this, so let's copy it down. So we're going to copy, we're going to paste it in here. Okay, so we have our values. So what we can do is that we're going to plug them on our integrals. And what do we have? Well, we have y multiplied by the differential area, which is 2y to the 1 half times dy, divided by our integral of 2y to the 1 half times dy. And our boundaries are still the same from 0 to 4 and from 0 to 4. If we pay close attention, this integral, we did it before, is the same integral as our x location, the same denominator for x and y, okay? Which should make sense because it's the differential area for these two guys should be the same. Now, we have, what do we have? Well, we found out before that this is 10.67. Now, what we have to do is a new integral 
and this new integral will give me a value of 25.6 okay now all we have to do is do this fraction and this fraction is equal to 12 over 5 or it's also equal to so I'm gonna put it here equal to 2.4 meters okay so we just found out our central location in the y direction just to summarize what we can say is okay the centroid for shaded area is and we're going to have 1.5 for the x location and 2.4 in the y location meters okay thank you guys for watching i hope you guys liked the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one